My husband's got lung disease. I uh, uh, was told and diagnosed with uh, cancer. Well, I've got um, advanced prostate cancer. Some of us have only got a few months to live, if we're lucky. Cancer affects thousands of people across the UK. Unfortunately, it's a stressful time in their lives, and for their family too. The award-winning Grove Hotel located in Bournemouth offers a unique opportunity to get away from the stress of the illness in an environment catered specifically for their needs. It's a hotel, so the hotel by definition means that that's where people go for holiday. So we are providing holidays for people that thought that it was impossible to come away for a holiday. So we're making the impossible possible in regards to, to the holiday, for, you know, so people can enjoy them. They can either come alone or come with friends, carers or family. It's not like a hotel for waiting for God. It's completely different. But that's the situation we feel that people tend to think it is when they're looking up at the hotel, want to go to the hotel, they don't want to come because they don't want to see a lot of sick people. And it's not like that. It's, it's a very relaxed atmosphere. People are always really surprised when they come here. Um, they don't know what to expect. And quite often it's different to what they thought it was going to be like. They're always a little bit sort of nervous. Um, and we want to be, we want to give them a nice holiday. Um, we want to be somewhere different, we want to give them a break from hospitals. The atmosphere is what counts, isn't it? When you're not well, it's, it's the atmosphere that counts. And the atmosphere is wonderful, mm. isn't it? Yeah, because I mean, you're not mothered, nobody's always, oh, you're all right every five minutes. And you're, no. It's not like that, it's not, you know, and there's not the hustle and bustle. Of, it's just really lovely. I came down last November, and do you know, I had such a lovely time down here. I had, um, the help and support of the environment here and the people here to get back the mobility that I'd lost because of chemotherapy, which had completely diminished my walking and getting up. I was able to get up and walk down to the beach um, on the platform there yeah. with a little rollator and go just backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, come to here, which I never thought I'd be able to do for a long time. Then I came back here by the middle of the week, I was going out um, daily and picking up on my mobility and my health improved, um, I looked better physically, confidence came back and with all the help and my eating was uh, much more improved because the food is so nice here and you know they do it for you so you get a chance to have a real convalescence like we used to have. I suppose before I came I thought well, it was going to be quite clinical because yeah. of what, what it's sort of about and I was quite surprised when I come here how like a hotel it is, it's just mm -hmm. like any other hotel, it's just not like what I imagined and it's just lovely, like you say, the staff are nice, the food is it's stuff It's nice to know amazing. that there is a nurse if you want to, yeah. there's a nurse here that you can call on it if, you, if we need one. <laughs> people out there that would benefit from a short stay, a week here, and would and will go home feeling that much better. Not just not just people that are patients, but their partners as well. As a carer, you're just as vulnerable to being tired and down and disillusioned and wanting advice as a patient is. And um, the staff here are, are very considerate towards carers. They're always willing to listen and to give a bit of advice. It helps not only with a cancer patient, but a wife and a carer as well, which I am. Um, it gives me a rest. I don't have to cook. <laughs> you know, I don't have to make the beds and everything. You know, it really gives me a break as well as I come with him. And, it, you know, this is it. it we carers that come and even family can come, can't yep. they? I came back because after my husband died, I was tired. I'd been nursing him for a long time and I never realised how terribly tired I was. And I came back initially for a bit of um, respite um, to build myself up again after, after the rather long haul I'd had with Ron. And they were very understanding of that. So our nurse team are very good. Um, what they do is at breakfast time and dinner time and during the day, they they'll go around to visit the guests um, whilst they're eating or whilst they're in the lounge 
and just to chat to them. I mean, a bit of sense, you know, a bit of a laugh and a giggle with them. But while they're doing that, they're assessing the guests. The guests don't realise they're being assessed, but they are being assessed in a way. Um, if anything strange happens on towards, and the nurses will deal with it straight away. That's the main role of having a nurse. They can man manage the situation before it, it gets out of hand. When we do identify guests that aren't, that we don't feel that getting the support that they really need at home, you know, as part of our job, we would sort of phone up their nurse because we always have to have a point of contact for people to come here. So we just phone up their nurse and, and sort of highlight the problems that this guest might be having back home so that when they go back home there's more support put in place for them whereas perhaps they weren't aware of, of it or didn't have the you know the ability to, to ask for it themselves. The last time I came here, the last visit with my husband, um, I didn't realise that he was really um, quite ill and that he he hadn't got long to go and they recognised it here. It's like a big family and I think when people come here as soon as they step through the door they feel it's different you know because you know the laughter starts as soon as people start as soon as people walk through that door and it's like greeting an old friend when you come they come and we have a big hug and it's really nice yes they're like old friends really. Because I've been able to come here twice in one year I've been able to get out and just really live in this situation, have life, you know, and be living. We should probably come again on this one with Blackley, if we're still here. <laughs> come back in the summer, aren't we? Yeah, in the summer. I mean, all the staff are the same here. We come here and we always get a hug off all the girls. And it's just so, so, so friendly. I've never been to another place like that. Safe journey back, yeah. see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thanks for everything.